Boys and girls, today your assignment is going to be to do page 47 to 48, numbers 1 to 4. I will show you how to do 1A, 2A, 3A, and 3B, and your job will be to do the rest of them. This is what your page should look like in your pink exercise book. And the TTOC will go over pages 46 to 47, the connect part that explains how to do uh, both estimating by rounding the number to the closest hundred and estimating by front end estimation. And once you've seen that, this will make a little more sense. The first question, 1A, asks how many digits do you think each answer will have? And then it asks you to explain. So for 1A, has 714 plus 621. And so what I've come up with as an answer is four digits, but the important part is actually my explanation. Here's my explanation right here. I rounded 714 to the nearest 100, which is 700, and I rounded 621 to the nearest 100, which is 621 to the nearest 100 is 600, and both of those numbers have been rounded to the nearest 100. And when I add 700 plus 600, I get 1,300 or 1,300, which has four digits in it. It has a thousands digit, a hundreds digit, a tens digit, and a ones digit. So the answer to the question is four digits, but the explanation is the important part. You will do B and C. For question number two, it asks in your test textbook, it tells you that Raji estimated each sum and then it asks you, is each estimate high or low, and how do you know? The first one that he did was 517 plus 475, and he estimated that as 900. My answer is that that estimate is low, because I know that 500 plus 400, which are both front-end estimates, 500 front-end estimate is estimated is Sorry, let me say that again. 517, front end estimated, is 500. And 475, front end estimated, is 400. And that gives you 500 plus 400. Since both are front end estimates, those are always low. So 500 plus 400 is 900. And that comes from front end estimates. So that estimate must be low. If you look at the top of your page where it asks you to estimate 395 plus 452 and it shows you how to do it using front end estimation that is also a low answer and the next one I'm going to get you to do or the next type of question after you do 2 B and C on your own is questions 3 A B C D E and F which I have left out on this page and question 4 for question 3A, it asks you to estimate each sum and to explain your strategy. So what I've done is I've done 3A two different ways. 71 plus 847, I rounded each number to the nearest 10 first. So 71 to the nearest 10 is 70, and 847 to the nearest 10 is 850. 70 is 7 tens, and 850 is 85 tens. So 7 plus 85 is 92, and since that was 7 tens and 85 tens, that's 92 tens. 92 tens is 920. So this is the explanation over here, and this is the estimate, or in this case, the answer. It's 920. You could also do that by rounding 71 to the nearest 100, which gives you 100, and rounding 847 to the nearest 100, which gives you 800, and those are both rounded to the nearest 100. That's part of the explanation. And the answer, when you do it that way, is 900. Very close to 920, but not quite exactly the same. But that's OK, because estimates aren't exact. For 3B, it asks you to add 165 plus 72. So I just rounded those both to the nearest 100. 165 to the nearest 100 is 200, and 72 to the nearest 100 is 100. So 200 plus 100, easy peasy lemon squeezy, that's 300. And the answer, or the estimate in this case, is 300. And here's my explanation. I showed how I rounded each of those to the nearest 100. And that gets you there. Now the actual answer is easily figured out like this. I will calculate it for you. And if I were to calculate it, 
165, let me do it over here so you can see the whole thing. 165 plus 72 equals 237. So this is a high estimate. It's uh, almost 70 higher than the actual answer, but it's pretty close. 237, 300, if you're estimating, that's close enough. So your job is to finish 3C, D, E, and F. And then underneath that, to do question 4, I am going to leave you to figure out question 4 on your own. Question 4 says, Sam wants a lunch with less than 1,000 calories. He has a hamburger with 445 calories, an apple pie with 405 calories, and ice cream with 270 calories. It asks you two things about how many calories are in the lunch. That requires you to estimate. And then the, uh, the other question is, did Sam make his goal? And it asks you to explain. So you might want to base your explanation on the estimate that you made in 4A. So that's going to be due for homework for tomorrow. Please do it in your pink math exercise books. And I will see you when I'm feeling a bit better and get back.